So I've been getting a few comments on my videos about why I say that power meters aren't as accurate as trainers, which is fair enough. Power meters are pretty damn accurate, and I know that the ASIO Majors duos that I have are very accurate in the context of racing. When you're racing on indoor platforms like Zwift, Indivelo, MyWish, there is a complete difference compared to if you're doing workouts or time trials and you're constantly pedaling. And so I thought I'd demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about with Indivelo because of the dual recording that it affords. Now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I remove myself on the screen, you can see here that I've got my Elite Dorito set up. I've got my Elite Dorito cadence. Now I can change this to uh, power meters, but I'll just keep it on the Dorito. Got my heart rate, and then I've got my Asioma duos. Doesn't really matter if I choose amp plus or Bluetooth, it's the same effect. I can do go back to amp plus just to demonstrate for completeness, but we'll keep it at Bluetooth at the moment. And then I'll turn my camera back on and I'll change scenes just so that I'm out of the way a little bit. So let's go to let's ride with say see Roxby, Roxy Ruby. Now a good thing about Indie Bello, it tells you about what power you should be doing to keep with them, but that's based on being in the wind. If you ride in the draft then it's entirely different. Okay, so I better turn my screens on. So as you can see at the top, not sure my arm won't go there, but you can see power meter versus trainer. So at the moment, my trainer is my main, main form of power. So if I go to the menu, find my mouse, Go into options. Actually, one small trick I'll show you too about Indie Velo is you can take a break. And it's not like Zwift where you only have a certain amount of time and you only get it after 15 or 20 minutes of riding. Indie Velo, there is no XP. So it doesn't really matter if you cheat. And you notice that that's paused as well. So I'm not getting any credit for the time. But in theory, I have been dropped a couple of times, but in theory I can just spend some time. I'll go over wind feel in a moment, but I've got a power equipment. This is a great thing about Indie Velo is you can change all this around without getting dropped. You can even, while you're racing, you can actually change this as well. So I'm in the wrong menu, go to trainer settings, trainer settings, power meter preferred. Okay, so this makes the power meter the primary source of power, which you'll see now, so it shows now my power meter at the top, trainer, trainer <laughs> below. Now I'll turn my brake time off and I really want to catch this group. So I'll do a big effort of 475 watts. Oh, I'm in the group. Now did you hear that? I'm not sure if you picked it up with the microphone, but I wasn't pedaling. I got back to the group easily. Now even now when I'm doing 166 watts, I'll stop pedaling. There we go. Trainer 1 watt, power meter 122 watts. Now wind it back up again. 213 watts. I'm not pedaling. There we go. Now I'm not very good at doing this because I don't practice it a lot, but I'll be able to get back into this group very simply without much effort at all. You can hear the trainer winding out. I'll even backpedal so you can hear that I'm backpedaling 369 watts backpedaling. This is why I made a video being so cranky that power meters are still an accepted form. Well, are still acceptable in high-end community races with zero questioning. For someone especially 
certain race organizers who I won't mention because I don't want to start fights. I just want to educate. We say that sticky watts is not a thing. How am I doing this while pedaling backwards? Okay, and I'm pedaling backwards, staying with quite a difficult bot. Talking, complaining, 137 beats per minute. Okay, so I'll swap back to, well, I'll swap to Amp Plus to show it's the same thing. Oops, wrong one. So, I've got to work now, now that I'm actually pedaling. I've actually got two Amp Plus devices, that's why it shows up another one. Okay, because I've got two Amp Plus sticks. Nice, relax. God, I'm getting a long sticky draft there. That was, that's the thing about sticky draft. It's not always just three seconds. So as you can see, it actually takes me a while to get the train to spin back up again. It's only 63 watts there, but that was 63 watts where I was literally doing nothing. So it's back pedaling. 278 watts. <laughs> so, so for those who are asking why I think power meters aren't as accurate as trainers, they're not inherently inaccurate or inaccurate, like my English, but they easily exploitable, heavily exploitable. And it's not people who necessarily using this deliberately imagine if you're a rider who is just hanging on to a group dear life and they work out if they just stop pedaling for three seconds and then they pedal again and they stop pedaling for three seconds and then they pedal again life's a lot easier they don't realize it's not because of physiology it's not because they're thinking, oh, I can, I'm just doing F, above FT, FTP efforts. And it's just the way my physiology is that I recover faster. It's because you're getting free watts. And this is Zwift. This is directly lies at the feet of Zwift. Because for years, they've been saying it doesn't exist. Which is complete bull try and keep this video PG okay so you can see the trainer the trainer's not giving you free watts sometimes I have seen a trainer do a sticky watt but it's not reliable like this is this is every single time and many times that you'll see sticky watts from trainers it's from dropouts from connections which if you look at my race last weekend if you have poor connections that's when trainers will give you sticky watts god I hate to wear sticky watts anyway so that's why that's why I say that it's time to move away from power meters in online racing all those people who have perfectly good trainers and are using power meters in races, and you know who you are. You get called out every race. You get asked why you want a power meter. And you say that a power meter is accurate or it's not against the rules. It might not be against the rules, but freaking hell, man. Look, at this is why, this is why. Anyway, enough of a rant. I'm gonna make, I'll make another video now about what I love about Indy Velo compared to Zwift. So I'll put that up somewhere around here. I don't know. I've got to stop doing videos about friggin' power meters and why Zwift has a lot to answer for in regards to this. In the meantime, sticky what's out. <laughs>